And after all of the rain we saw last week, it was nice to see some sunshine, sunshine today. But those wanting to enjoy some time on the riverfront, the gates were shut and locked. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz explains why being on the water today would have been dangerous. The sun may have been shining across most of the Piedmont on Saturday, a welcome sight after the sky opened up, leading to days of rain. However, these gates at the Madison River Park are closed. After last week's abundant rainfall, the Dan River levels at the park are up, creating a dangerous environment for anyone on the water. So if a person were to get in trouble on the river, um, access to these people may have to be at various points down the river. Rockingham County Emergency Management Director Rodney Cates recently told us that the Dan River is full of hazards, including rocks and low head dams. Heavy rain like we saw last week adds to those hazards. Not only is the river deeper because of the rainfall, but it's also flowing faster as well. Even the strong swimmer, the very physically fit, uh, is no match to the current and the flow of the river. This was the tranquil flow of the Dan River from June 16th. At the time, the Dan was about two feet deep and flowed through Rockingham County at less than 1,000 cubic feet per second. A much different view from Saturday, as the river was flowing at more than double the flow rate and depth, making tubing or kayaking dangerous. Lee Mitchell with Madtown Tubing says when the river conditions improve, you still need to keep safety in mind. The key is you always know the section of river you're getting on. You want to know water flow, you want to know depth, you want to know uh, what, what you're going to run into in between. Kate says no matter what the river conditions are, you need to have a life jacket while on the water. Tubes can be pierced in some of the things that are in the, in the river. Some of the, the strainers, some of the rocks can pierce these tubes. The raft itself is not a personal flotation device. People need to wear that personal flotation device. With improving weather conditions, the river is forecast to return to normal levels and a safer flow rate by Tuesday. In Madison, Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.